Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino. You have Urban Viking Ale Review. <laughs> <laughs> you have that, yeah. And and this guy here, Paul from PA Brew News. And we have this that Guy brought us. This is from Beyond the Pale. This is the Imperial Super Guy. Super Guy. Super Guy. Nine point one percent alcohol by volume. Ninety ABU. 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 You better check yep. what's in that bottle. Just Alcohol by <laughs> units. IBU. AB. <laughs> I is confused. They're from Ottawa. Yeah, they're they're just doing it in French. A is how you spell bitter in French. Abidia. You need to stop that shit. The urban pikey. Classy guy. Urban Super cloudy though. Carrots. Super cloudy. Super, super imperial. Oh. The baby uh, pour. I love it. Thank you. Oh, guys. you better pour more of that. <laughs> Sorry. There's plenty more. Oh, it's a whole other friggin' bottles, isn't it? Yes. Let's need some. I'm gonna pass it to them. Super E. Oh. Ooh, that's diarrhea water. That's Come on. remember when I was upstairs just recently and I screamed, "Oh my God, it's liquid!" Yeah, that's what it looked like. This is actually from Super Geek. <laughs> this looks like Rhino shirts. <laughs> oh, dank! Oh, dank! This is like hot dank me down. Oh yeah, very dank. Dank oh. me down. It smells like black strap molasses. <laughs> no wait, that's Terry. I got, the wrong, nice. I got the wrong British guy. Yeah. There's this nice mango sitting right on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's nice, really nice. Nice citrus fruit, nice dank. Well, mm -hmm. very almost dank, like, but nice citrus fruit. Mm -hmm. It's almost like me, like. It's like a nice dank, this. It really is. Yeah, it is like passion fruit, peach, that sort of thing. I, uh, I'd say passion fruit. Oh, star fruit. Mm. Star fruit. Smells very good. Stone we'll fruits, all the stone fruits, every single one of them. Every one. <laughs> stone fruits. Let's try it. Cheers. 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 Cheers, Gee. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Gee, for bringing this. Thank you, Gee. Mm. Oh, man. That's nice. That's, That's very nice. Now, it's nice to see the one that's this dank that has the IBUs to match it. Yeah, it's got some balls to this it. This is what my better wife wants. That's just what the. Yep, exactly. Very similar, though. Just comes out ball. punching. But it's with a amped up version, yeah. A very strong, maybe like almost like. My better wife doesn't taste like this. Mixed in with it's that chocolate. Yeah, it, it has. It, 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 it went over its head. Like, oh, God. The stuff that was masked <laughs> in the <laughs> smell comes out in the flavor. Fuck you, Chad. I tell Mari never to shower. You frickin' witch. Never listens to me. <laughs> <laughs> you let the Amish in your house once. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> he's been confused by technology all day. No. He's the only Amish. amazing he came up here in a car rather than horse. Um, <laughs> very dank. Very, very dank. fruity, though. Yeah. There is a lot of... There's mango. There's a little bit of... Uh, what the fuck is that? It's almost blood orange. Yeah, and I, grapefruit. That I can do. Them. Yeah, tangerine. You can throw any of those out there, and it's sound, every, all sound the fruits. legit. Yeah. All, all the fruits. fruits ever. Maybe IBU, but it doesn't burn all that. Long. No, it doesn't burn it's it, but like it, bang it's gone. very lively on your mouth, and it, and it lets all those lovely characters kind of set in. And the bitterness is quite nice, but it's not a residual. It doesn't like hit no, you. No, it's over not. It's not resiny. It's nothing like that. It's very drinkable. Mm -hmm. And that's what nine percent again. Nine one. No one, yeah, you don't get that yeah, you know, at all. And it, it, it dries out your palate, so you just... Uh, you want more. Mm -hmm. It's a... It's a Moorish beer. Is it Moorish? Is it quaffable? Quaffable. It's quaffable. Quaffable. I hear say this is one of my favorite double IPAs I've had this year. I'd have to agree, actually. That's actually really damn good. It lives up to its name. It's super. Uh, definitely very tasty. Mm -hmm. yeah. is, is this a, what you taste like, Guy? Yeah, this is this is a better version. Yeah. Don't say that. He's going to eat you now. Yeah. He tastes like all the fruits. He already has. <laughs> the stone fruits. <laughs> the Canadian frogs. That tastes just like what I would expect from a top-notch IPA. That's yes. my, that is a top-notch IPA. Yeah. That's my favorite I mean, IPA. It, it's Maybe it's like well enough balanced that uh, me, who isn't a huge hophead, really mm -hmm. enjoys it. It's an imperial that tastes like a regular IPA. Mm -hmm. yeah. hey, what's the ABV on this? 9.1. 9 9 oh, man. You don't taste that much. Mm -hmm. You don't taste it at all. And 90 IBU. Yeah, you don't get that either. It's, you know, we talked about the, the ABV, but it's scary how many beers are getting in the 8, 9, 10 right now. Out of 10? Nine. 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 Yeah, nine. So, you guys know what the imperial... Uh, IPA dance is, right? Is there a thrust in the crotch? No, it's a golf clap. Oh. Yes. Viking approves. <laughs> you have to do it like this. Viking would approve if you were here. Bye-bye. <laughs>